I guess. Amen. Because mm -hmm. if everybody survived, right? Nobody got no. Because I remember praying to someone really you know, as I left. You know, I felt like the enemy was going to attack everybody. I really did. I don't know if you remember that. Mm -hmm. um, but I really felt like I was, that, that the word was going to be stolen out of people, but I didn't realize it was going to be that. Amen. But God is so good. You know, I, you know the, I just want to give you this one thing, and, I, and I'm going to close out. Okay. Um, you know, there's a creativity inside of you. I, you know, an artist, my, my wife's an artist, and she creates all kinds of things, that type of thing. But I really do believe that God is, he's put you on an adventure, but the creativity with inside of you to be able to do different things, you know, are going to be given to you. It's like you didn't have the, maybe the means to do this or do that. It may be decorating the house, it may be whatever it might be, okay? But here's Decorate a creativity things. that's going to be released inside of you. But when that creativity is released, just know this, that the Holy Spirit is leading you to do that. Now you would think, well, why would the Holy Spirit lead me to decorate a house? Why would he do that? That doesn't make any sense. There's more things that are important than that. No, it's sometimes those things are very, very important. Because as you're doing these things, he's actually teaching you. Amen? I'll never forget God told me to go down to a pool, to go down to the basement. He said, turn the pump on. Okay, That emptied out the... Uh, the, the whirlpool okay so i turned the pump on he says turn it on watch it i sat there and watched it. it was just spinning and nothing was nothing was happening i go great it's a pump god what are you showing me here i don't get it you know he said just watch it so i sat there watching that thing start spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and eventually the water started to draw out okay and okay and then they started to speak to me he said look so that's what prayer is you keep praying and praying and praying until the water comes out how does something simple like that amen Another time I was working at a children's home and there was this guy named, his name was Ray LaRue. And this guy was about this big, he was skinny, maybe weighed 50 pounds wet. I mean, he had nothing. And his, it was his job that day to take the garbage from lunch. And it was a big lunch. I put in a big bag and he had to take it to the dumpster, okay? And so he puts this thing up and he, he, he could hardly pull it up, okay? So he starts walking out the door and the Lord says, go out and watch him. When the Lord said that to me, I thought something was going to happen because there was a lot of stuff that went on in that children's home. So I'm sitting out there watching. He's walking like this to the garbage thing, just kind of doing a zigzag. He can barely hold it up. And then this other student came over and took the bag, and then he took it and he threw it into the tra trash can. And when he took the bag, the Lord told him to carry each other's burdens. Simple like that. That is what God, how God teaches you. Just be aware of it, okay? Because this creativity that you have, everything you do is going to be a lesson. Amen? God is so good. Well, Lord, we just thank you for what you've done.